building that we're in, it's a new building for direct relief. It's 155,000 square feet built to the, um, the new requirements that exist under U.S. federal law. The requirements are getting higher and higher to ensure that there's a integrity and safety in the U.S. drug supply chain. Meeting the highest requirements that exist for handling prescription drugs is really important to direct relief because it's very important to our mission. Direct Relief is called upon more than ever to respond on a daily and emergency basis with medical resources that people need but cannot afford. To help meet this global demand for charitable medicine, Direct Relief operates a 155,000 square foot warehouse and distribution center with 10,000 pallet spaces and 12 truck bays. Recognizing the unique and critical role that Direct Relief plays in the humanitarian space, the facility not only meets the most stringent licensing requirements needed to store the pharmaceuticals, it exceeds them. It's designed to withstand major earthquakes and includes a Tesla microgrid that ensures continuous operations, even if the power grid is down for months. The facility's 2,800 square foot cold room keeps sensitive products between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius, allowing Direct Relief to handle critical medications like insulin, vaccines, and therapies for cancer and rare diseases. Direct Relief's warehousing and logistic capabilities translates into more than 3.9 million pounds of medical aid to 100 countries via 16,000 deliveries every year. While the scale of these operations is unique among nonprofits for Direct Relief, it's not about the volume of the medicine, but the people that are helped as a result. The work that Direct Relief does for people who can't afford it does not mean that it should be done or could be done to any lesser standard than for anyone else in the world. And although Direct Relief does it for humanitarian purposes, we thought that is the standard that exists for any, everyone in the United States. And it should be uh, the similar standard for everyone in the world that Direct Relief as an American organization is helping. With roughly 50 to 75 shipments of medicines leaving Direct Relief's warehouse on any given day, bound for places in the U.S. and around the world that are rarely served by commercial distributors, operational efficiency isn't an option. It's an imperative that we must do right. That extends to highly complex situations like disasters, where the supply and demand for products is constantly in flux, and to cold chain shipping, which requires careful handling and tracking throughout the supply chain. These conditions compel Direct Relief to be nimble and constantly think of ways to maximize impact by leveraging available resources. To that end, Direct Relief looks to the best of industry for inspiration and benchmarks its performance against business operators, employing commercial grade technology to ensure highly sensitive pharmaceuticals are delivered in a precise, efficient manner. SAP and Pick to Voice systems allow for streamlined operations and fast and accurate order fulfillment, while business intelligence software like Click provides real-time visibility into warehouse operations and distribution globally. We're not a business, but functionally for those we serve who lack access to commercial markets and rely on donations from direct relief, we must operate like one. If you're in business, you're not looking at who can't buy what we're making and selling. You're looking at people who can. So I think when we approach healthcare companies and ask them to participate in some of this work, it is with the understanding that they have keenly important reasons for making sure that the quality of their products, that their brand integrity, that the way their product is handled, is handled as well for charitable purposes as it's being handled for commercial purposes. Direct Relief's compliance program ensures the authenticity of medicine safely delivered through a secure supply chain. We strive to be indistinguishable from commercial channels for healthcare products. Our products are sourced from licensed manufacturers and wholesale distributors, safeguarding against counterfeits and contraband. By requiring our partners to maintain proper licensing, we support the safe and responsible dispensation of medicine to patients whose access would otherwise be limited or non-existent. Direct Relief is one of the only charitable organizations to be accredited as a verified accredited wholesale distributor by the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy. We operate under the jurisdiction of the California State Board of Pharmacy, the California Department of Health, the FDA, and the DEA. In order to maintain VOD accreditation and ensure regulatory conformance, Direct Relief has implemented an extensive framework of standard operating procedures to govern routine processes and documentation. We welcome regular audits to ensure our compliance with state and federal regulatory standards, in addition to the rigorous standards set by our healthcare product donors who trust Direct Relief to safely deliver highly regulated pharmaceuticals worldwide to over 1,700 healthcare providers. Direct Relief's culture of compliance enables us to achieve the operational excellence required to carry out our mission. 
Compliance allows us to do more for more people in more places. It's the foundation of Direct Relief's work to improve the health and lives of people in need. I think in many respects, Direct Relief goes beyond what is minimally required, difficult though that is, to make sure that we're doing it as well as it can be done. As a father of four kids, I would never consider doing anything in my work here at Direct Relief that I wouldn't be confident my own children or spouse or myself would take. That's why we focus so much on compliance. Thank you.